Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to embed a YouTube video into a PowerPoint 2010 presentation using a workaround feature. Now, supposing as before, I want to display a video uh, right inside one of my slides in PowerPoint. My video of choice here is the 2013 Presidential Inauguration Oath of Office by President Obama. And I'd like to be able to display that video here on my slide. I don't want to switch out to a browser or launch it separately or download the video. Just play it directly from this screen here. Now, the traditional way of doing this has been using embed code uh, that is available in YouTube. But recently, there have been a lot of problems in the mid to late to the year 2013 with embed code working in PowerPoint. So I'm going to show you now a way that you can get a workaround with this using what's called the developer tools. So the first thing I need to do is to switch on developer tools because usually by default, they are switched off. So to do this, I need to click on the file ribbon on the top left hand side of my screen. And down along the left hand side here, scroll down to options and select that. And this will display the PowerPoint options window that you see here in the center of the screen. The option you're looking for is customize ribbon, which is in the middle here. So let's click on that. And you can see lots and lots of material here. But the good news is I want you to concentrate over on the right hand side here, where it is called customize the ribbon. And down in the center, uh, I'm pointing it out here with my mouse. Uh, you can see that in my case, the developer tab is not checked. So I'm going to check that. If it's checked already in your PowerPoint, that's OK. Leave it checked. So make sure that that's checked and simply click OK. And what that has done is it has added a new ribbon to, my, to the top of my PowerPoint screen called Developer. And you can see there's lots and lots of different options here. These are, by, uh, as the name suggests, will be used a lot by people who are using PowerPoint for development purposes. In the center here, in the Controls tab, there's a small button which looks like a hammer and a screwdriver. So click on that. And that will display a More Controls option here. Scroll down towards the bottom of this because we are looking to get to uh, an option here called the Shockwave Flash object. If this is not present, make sure that you have Flash and Shockwave installed on your computer. So I'm going to select the Shockwave Flash object and click OK. My mouse now changes into a crosshair. So by clicking my left house mouse button, I can create a square with this uh, to mark out the position where I want my video to uh, be placed. Let go of the mouse button, and this leaves a box with which box which looks like the back of an envelope. Now this is the object that's going to play my video, but so far it does no, has no idea what the video is. So my next step is to switch over to YouTube. So here I have my YouTube screen here, and I've got my uh, video ready to go. Let me play. Of office, everyone, please rise. Okay, so this is the video that I want to choose. You choose your own video. And what I need this time, instead of embed code, what I need is the actual web address. So you get that from your browser's web address here at the top. In my case, I'm using Chrome. So I've got youtube.com forward slash watch and so on along code. So I'm just going to right click and copy that code. And that's all I need from YouTube. So now I can switch back to PowerPoint. And now I need to tell my envelope object here, I need to tell it what the address of the YouTube video is. So I'm going to right click on this. And in the center, in the pop up menu, there is the properties option. So select that. And that will display a property windows over on the left hand side here. If it's a, a pops up as very, very narrow, you can widen it out to see what you're doing. And in the center here, I have highlighted one called movie. So it's down just, just past the halfway mark in here. And you can click in the, the box here beside this. And I'm going to right click and paste the web address that I copied from YouTube. Now, I'm not quite finished. There's a couple of things I need to change this web address to make it work. First of all, you'll see here at the end, I'm just using my arrow keys to move back over. There is an 11 letter alphanumeric code. Don't change that. That's the code specific to the video. But just before that, there is an equal sign. So delete that and replace it with a forward slash. Beside that, there's the letter V. Keep that but delete the word watch and the question mark. So I'm just doing that with my backspace key. Delete the word watch and question mark and change the equal sign to a forward slash. And then that's it. Click outside that box, close it down. And you, you can see the video running in edit mode, but when I now choose to run the video, oh, here it goes. Yeah, I thought it wasn't coming there for a sec. Uh, here it is, I can play it. Of office, everyone please rise. And I've got my usual controls. I can fast forward. I can pause. I can change the volume. Will to the best of my ability. I can do all the usual controls in my PowerPoint here. 
Finally, sometimes people like to be able to uh, jazz their presentation up a little bit. I've got another slide here, and let's say I would like to run my presentation as if it was playing on this TV screen here. Same thing as before. Uh, choose the uh, controls, more controls object. Scroll down until you see shockwave flash object. Select it and click OK. Uh, I'm now going to put my um, um, object inside in the TV set here. So I'm going to try and line it up as best as possible. So that it looks like it's playing on TV. And then, as before, right-click on the object, choose Properties. In the Movies option, right-click and paste in the link that I still have from YouTube. Change the equal sign to a forward slash and, change, and delete the word watch and the question mark that's here in the center. Just delete them. Click outside, close that properties windows down, and now if you run your PowerPoint presentation, it looks pretty cool that your uh, video is playing inside in the TV screen. Office. Everyone, please rise. It looks pretty cool running on the screen here. So that's how you embed a YouTube video into a PowerPoint 2010 presentation using the developer tools. Um, if you are frustrated with embed code and all the changes you have to make, maybe this is the easiest way to insert a video into your PowerPoint presentation. So good luck with all your presentations. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.